Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are in, I don't even remember where we are, Ote Ranch outside of somewhere south of San Diego at El Pollo Grill. So today we're here to do their 619 Cali Burrito Challenge. So this is an absolutely massive burrito. The burrito is over six plus pounds itself, plus a massive side of french fries, or you can do uh, nacho chips. I decided to do french fries. I'm not sure if I'm gonna regret this. It's probably gonna be heavier, but they're quicker to eat and like less cutting on the mouth. So we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Um, I had to pay for the meal in advance, which was 45 bucks. And if I win, I get the meal for free and a $50 gift card. So it's pretty cool. Let's head on in, see what we can do. Eat some kind of Tex-Mex food and uh, let's have some fun. All right, everybody. So what just came out is not even like human. It won't even, this is a huge tray and it's bent. This is, this is much bigger than any of the other challenges I've ever seen come out of this place. In fact, this thing is absolutely massive. We don't have a scale with me, but we're thinking this is like at literally 10 to 11 pounds, like 10 pound burrito at least, plus all the fries. We're probably about 11 pounds. This is not what we signed up for. We only have 30 minutes. <sighs> Wish us luck. All right, so let's start the count. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat the massive burrito. Hey, hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at El Pollo Grill. Yes, so if you're a native English speaking individual, Polo, P-O-L-L-O, -L -L -O, that's how it looks like it's pronounced in English, but it's Pollo in Spanish, and it means chicken. So basically we're at the Chicken Grill. So here we are to do the, their, what is the called the 619 Cali Burrito. So it's supposed to be 6.19 pounds, Plus, like, you know, you have your side, so maybe it'd be like some fries or, again, the nacho chip, which should bring it up to about seven, max seven and a half pounds. Well, as you can see here, what I got is absolutely a monstrosity of a burrito. It's by far the biggest burrito I've ever seen. I think this is probably the biggest burrito challenge in California. Uh, and anyway, it was by far the biggest burrito, like, just, it was it was ridiculous uh, when it came out I was absolutely bewildered I was like what is that and I mean you can see it for yourself it's just it's ridiculous it's pretty good. Not bad. so for this challenge we only have 30 minutes to complete this thing uh, the burrito itself was about 60 50 60 bucks I um, mean it didn't pay in advance as I mentioned so if you like look and saw the other pictures of both when Eric the Electric and Raina had completed this challenge, their burrito, in my opinion, was smaller. I'll let you, you know, make your own opinion on that. And then even in the stock pictures. We could feed an army with this thing. That showcased the challenge and mentioned it on the uh, websites, like on the restaurant websites. All their trays were like they're using a small like meal tray where this is like an industrial um, food service tray. So like I don't know who made this thing, but they made it really big. I did mention that I felt it was a little bigger than 6.19 pounds and they basically just said yeah it's a little bigger sometimes so I just kind of left it there again often um, you guys make comments about like tell the restaurants and we do I often mention it but most restaurants in all reality it's kind of what you get is what you get um, but at that, I went with a uh, beef, um, like a carne asada, I guess it would be, or anyway, it was beef in the burrito. Uh, then there were also french fries in there that was mandatory. We had guacamole, some refried beans and rice. Um, I think I had some tomatoes in there. Uh, so it was like a pretty basic burrito. There was no actual like... Um, I'll say like salsas or anything in the burrito so that's why I had all mine on the side and I was adding it to it one to give a little bit of moisture uh, you know add a little bit of flavor etc etc um, then of course as we mentioned we had the fries I had to finish as well so to give perspective I have done a number of other burrito challenges again this is by far the biggest but the, the last burrito challenge I did was like a four pound burrito and I did it in like two minutes so that just goes to give you 
a example of how massive this thing absolutely was. And this thing was, I knew it was going to be a very difficult ride. Already I'm having, you know, some difficulty breathing through my mouth. Um, burritos are really quick to eat because you can basically just swallow the foods. But I mean, that means you fill up really quickly because you're consuming a lot of food very quickly. But that everybody, I'll let you get the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. There's something hard in it.
What time is it? 21.50. 21 minutes, 50 seconds. You just ate multiple, the equivalents of multiple newborn children. That was a big one. That was definitely difficult. Definitely the biggest breed I've ever seen in my life. For that, I guess we get my money back, get it for free. We get a $50 gift card. And boy, oh boy, I've had my Philip burritos for a while. So that, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay happy, I'll be hungry. Just don't ever do what I do in this case, just don't. And of course, happy eating. So we're down here in Ote Ranch, and basically we're really close to the Mexican border. And it's very pretty down here. You can tell there's lots of sun, the flowers, and everything is very much green and in bloom. And it just looks very, very nice. It looks, it looks quite like well, the whole San Diego area, including this area, looks quite a bit different than um, like the rest of kind of Southern California, which is very, I don't know, I almost call it more tropical looking warm and all that good stuff. Stuff. 805 North. That says. If we look this way, that's that'd be like basically Mexico right down there. Hey Mexico, what's up? Mexico. If the borders were open, we'd go over to Mexico. More San Diego. Again, just the trees, the greenery, the houses, everything just looks so tropical. It's really very, very interesting. Whereas again, only two hours north in like LA and LA area, it just doesn't look as tropical. Like if somebody told me I was in, I don't know, Mexico or Brazil or something like that, I'd go, I believe it. I believe it.